the thing that great minds think alike. We are two professionals working on mass communication. We actually create and work together every day in order to find new ideas for our clients. As said, every day we work together and we try to solve problems by our ability to put together things in a new way, in an original way. Sometimes we use the power of media. Our clients buy TV or radio spaces, billboards, newspapers, pages, and also social media. So, what we do actually is adding value to big brands. We turn objects like, for example, watches, pasta, beer, whatever, again, a shampoo or even a newspaper into objects with a soul. And that's why you think these objects are big brands. In the other end, and better saying, we use our idea to provoke people by applied arts. We think that the power of arts can be extremely useful to convey ideas and concepts to people that even might scare them. We are convinced that the fine art are the only way to help people in understanding concept, terrifying concept. And actually, every day is a new experience Every day, with the soft and light touch of art, we do this experience. We are pretty sure that this is really the solution. Good afternoon. Let me think that uh, it could be stupid to think uh, our creativity, uh, to use our creativity only to earn a huge quantity of money, uh, create big brands, uh, and uh, become uh, uh, well-known in our industry. Um, that's why we realized not only advertising, not only traditional advertising, but also no-profit ethical project. And our aim is uh, help to change our behavior. We have four cases today. The first one is uh, uh, the, the launch of the Italian language of science in 1997. And this campaign changed the leaves of hundreds of thousands of deaf and dumb people that can hear and, and talk and cannot. And giving them the proudness to be um, people with their own language. It changed the real life of these people. In 1997, we launched with, uh, a, a commercial TV, um, okay, a commercial for TV, uh, where uh, Christopher Lambert showed for the first time a condom on TV saying, uh, it's the only weapon to fight the HIV epidemic. We did this for um, the Professor Ayuti era, the Foundation Unlights Against HIV. This idea was so strong that uh, the Italian Minister uh, of Public Health at, at the time, uh, Rosi Bindi, a Catholic minister, tried to fight this commercially in every way. Um, luckily, she cannot uh, stop it. And, uh, now everyone thinks that a condom is a, the best weapon against AIDS. Two years ago, we, we realized and we did a very strong uh, action against the mafia. Mafia is a strong word, you know. <laughs> what I did is designing a series of billboards showing the police mag shot of the most wanted posses dressed as drag queens, as you see here. So I guess <laughs> the situation was really, really funny, I have to say, and uh, it was really something important to us to do this action. So, can you imagine the topic of the mafia is so strong and is so important? And when a group of young students in Palermo posted up around the city, billboards showing bosses dressed really like women, you know what was the effect? It was really like a bomb. It was absolutely something so strong, so unbelievable, but really, really important. 
Absolutely. This is very, very important because the media said that the men of honor are old women. So this was unbelievable. unbelievable sorry. And this action dramatically decreased the reputation of the bosses in that city. That means that the perception of the mafia was a little bit changed. And that's why, thanks to this campaign, together with other actions, we received an award entitled to a very famous judge killed by the mafia, the Paolo Borsellino Prize. The fourth case uh, to uh, explain what we, we do when uh, we don't do advert classical advertising uh, is uh, a, a campaign that starts uh, from a, a sculpture of Patrizia. She creates uh, with 100 uh, um, euros paper money the sculpture with the, the word idea, 25 uh, euros for each letter. This uh, sculpture became a, the symbol of uh, a social action called You Have to Pay Ideas. You can look at the, the hashtag uh, up there. And uh, thousands of professionals on social networks, of creativity professionals, shut out uh, their proudness to be creatives, uh, to be a man of project uh, with this uh, action. And um, they made thousands of selfies and published it on social network. And, uh, just uh, change the perception of the creative work uh, because uh, ideas are not commodity and companies have to pay well the ideas and invest on them. Patricia, please, a yes. little recap with first to, to start with, with the Let rest of the presentation. Our basic, basic concept. Sharing the same idea using different languages and different approaches, this really makes a big impact into the society in which we live. It's not easy, it's not something that, it's so, how to say, easy to do anytime, but this is the way to do it. So this is very important, it's a simple message, but please, even little simple actions, you can do it, and this automatically will turn into a better life for everybody, I would say, right? This is our third talk we, we did. And uh, we decided to not uh, have a theoretical speech. Uh, that's why we are enough crazy to propose you to share two new ideas that could change the world. But they could change the world only if you can adopt and uh, share these ideas. The challenge, our challenge, your challenge, is enhance our society by the precision of marketing and the power of fine arts and your collaboration. Please, Patrizia. First provocation. This is an idea that comes from my personal point of view. Working as an artist, I wanted to create a sculpture for the topic we are going to discuss today. We all know that uh, in the mythology, Medusa represents a terrifying creature and we also know that Medusa's gaze petrifies, really, the viewer. So here is Medusa, and here is Pasquale. It was Pasquale. Pasquale, please, come up. Was petrified. <laughs> yes, yeah, something like that. <laughs> so the mythology tells us that uh, Poseidon defeated Medusa, the goddess with the head of snakes, full of snakes, terrible snakes. And she gave it, he gave it, sorry, directly to Athena, the goddess of war, and she put it on her shield as a defense, as an attack. Now, the point is not actually if you are going to like this piece or this piece. No. <laughs> <laughs> the point is that I'm sure you will like the idea of a symbol, a defensive symbol for the people who are facing terrible feelings online, feelings that also affect their real life. I'm talking about cyberbullying, I'm talking about haters. What happened is quite easy, because what they do actually is trying to destroy, to ruin the reputation of a normal person, of a, um, professional, uh, of uh, TV stars, whatever. They use lies, they use uh, fake news, 
everything in order to destroy their life, their reputation, online and then also in the real life. This is really the big problem. And that's why we think that a symbol in this culture, in this unbelievable and really crazy nonsense culture of the haters, something was to do, to be done, sorry. And that's why this creature will turn into an emoticon, an emoji, the anti-haters emoji. What is the idea? It's, the idea is very simple, is to use it as a response to the attack online. So, in other words, to use it on post as a response, as a symbol in one hand, saying the word that we feel insecure, we are under attack. And in the other hand, is a way to communicate with the social network, with the algorithm, that something bad is happening. Because, you know, right now, it takes time. You have to fill form, uh, write about the arguments. It's very long and disappointing. This takes time, and usually you don't do it. Imagine if you simply can use an emoji on the comments, on the post, to say it, stop it. So this would really change behavior. This idea and this icon will be available soon. But please, start thinking about it now, sharing this idea with friends, with family, with kids in the school, because it starts also in the school. You can even print it out and use it in, I don't know, in your bureau, in your gym class, uh, whatever and how you want, absolutely. But talk about it and remember that every single person can do something and from the attitude and this sharing attitude of ideas, we can change behavior. This is very, very important, right? Right. <laughs> Second ideas. I don't know if you know Peppino Impastato, but the second idea is uh, called uh, a bow for Peppino. A bow is uh, this gesture. I don't know if uh, you have seen the movie 100 Steps, I Cento Passi, di Marco Risi. Uh, in uh, 2001, he was the Italian candidate to New York to the Golden Globe as uh, best foreign uh, movie. And uh, it's the story of uh, Peppino Impastato, a young journalist, he worked in a radio station, in a private radio station, and he fought ma mafia by talking at the radio. Um, the real drama is that Peppino, in 1978, was killed by mafia because he, was, he, he didn't bow <laughs> to the mafia. Right. And um, the real drama was that uh, he lived in Cinisi near Palermo, a small town, and in Cinisi the boss, Tano Badalamenti, was his uncle. Peppino was killed by the brother of his mother. It was terrible. Killed by his uncle. Be by, because he didn't bend his backbone in front of the mafia. Peppino didn't bow and he died, and we want uh, to honor Peppino 40 years after, with a, a huge global bow in the world, using social media, uh, sharing this bow with the world. We want to organize a, an original social challenge, uh, a bow for Peppino, a bow for legality. Mm, I imagine that uh, everyone knows what is a social challenge, but uh, I, I can use this uh, success case that, that is called the Ice Bucket Challenge. Um, four years ago, millions of people put uh, ice water, poured ice water on uh, their heads to fight uh, the SLA syndrome and uh, uh, raise um, donation for the research. Million of ordinary people, as you can see, but also million of uh, very important person. In the same way, we want million of people making a bow for Peppino, saying a, a small video uh, done by um, a smartphone, and uh, people bowing and saying, "We bow for Peppino, the young man that doesn't bow in front of mafia." So. 
Shall we, we bow for Peppino? Shall we start here? Doing we, it? we can start. Okay, so one, two, the first three. One? Yeah, please. We bow for Peppino. And uh, <laughs> thank you. Imagine, imagine this simple and contagious uh, idea that, uh, spread, that is spread on, um, on social media. The real problem is that to make the, the, the dream true, we need uh, you. We need your cooperation. We need companies. Yeah. We need brave companies that uh, will support uh, these ideas and transform it in, a so in social values, in a collective values. And uh, at the end, we need brave journalists that uh, share this bow on uh, their social uh, network and uh, spread this on their news magazine, on their news uh, uh, television. Why we ask this for the companies, for journalists, and for ordinary people? Because uh, there are research that uh, certified that action for good that support social values are more effective than advertising, then are really interesting for the companies. Second thing, the millennials, the most important part of the society in the world, believe, there are marketing research, believe that 70% of brands can dissolve with no problem for these guys because they don't propose anything useful for the society. So we propose a bow. Imagine if company and journalists and people bow for Peppino. Don't forget, third thing, that 180 CEOs of the most important USA companies declared a few weeks ago that a company that produces only profit produces no value. Wow. That's why we can bow for Peppino in the next month. So, Patricia. What to say? What to add? Simply to keep in mind that the idea today is to have really a sharing approach where everybody is involved. We are all connected and we work very well all together. So this is our message. Please start doing little simple actions. What starts from a person today can become something huge tomorrow. This is so simple and so important. So, so we can do it. We can do it. Of together. course, together. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye.